So welcome to the predictive dialer tutorial. You'll want to open a web browser. We're on a Mac today, so we're using Safari, but any web browser works with this program. And up in your top menu bar, uh, you'll want to type in americavotesvan.com. Uh, once you type it once, it should autofill for you. Your organizer will provide you with a username and password. Um, today we're using a Labor Council username and password. And you can hit enter or click log in. And in the bottom right of the screen, counterintuitively, you don't want to click the phone for a phone bank. Uh, you want to click uh, something by this little yellow diamond. Your organizer will provide you with the exact name of the phone bank. Uh, today we're going to test our calls into the 44th Legislative District. And shortly it will prompt you to enter a phone number. You will enter your phone number. Uh, your phone number will not appear on a voter's caller ID. Your organizer has set up another number to show up uh, when you call a voter so you don't have to worry about your information getting out there. You don't need to have an extension, but if you have one, that's fine too. So go ahead and click Next, and the system will call you. It takes about 20 seconds uh, for it to make the call. If it takes longer than that, simply back out and try again. So I'm receiving the call now. And once you answer, you should hear a nice soothing voice come on the line and read you instructions. Uh, you're not connecting to voters yet, so you can take this time to preview the script for your phone bank. It'll stay on your screen the entire time you're calling uh, for every voter that you talk to. And any time you ask a voter a question, this time we're asking if we can count on their vote for Mike Wilson for State House, you'll see a drop-down menu where you can select their answer. Um, so in this case, we'll be answering how they feel about our candidate or his opponent. So as you scroll down, you can see there's another question we're asking voters in this particular phone bank about volunteering. Same drop-down menu where you can select their answer. Once you've listened to the instructions and you're ready to start making calls, you can click the Start Calling button and it will start connecting you to voters. Um, you'll still hear the instructions while you're waiting for it to connect and it'll say Contacting a Person. And where it says Contacting a Person is where the voter's name will appear when you are connected. Chances are they've already said hello, so you'll want to start talking as soon as you hear the little beep noise that they demonstrate uh, during the instructions. And just start reading your script. If you're not able to contact the name of the person that comes up here, there's a couple of options you can select as to why you couldn't talk to that voter. Maybe they weren't home, maybe they speak another language, uh, they refused to take the call, it was a wrong number, or maybe they're unfortunately deceased. Uh, so as you can see, we're getting ready to talk to Heather Doutle. Um, you can see age and sex of the voter file as well. And if there's another voter we want to talk to that lives at this phone number, their name will pop up over here in also in household. And you can click on their name to switch over to their file. When you've finished talking to Heather, we'll say in this case she was not home so that it'll contact her again. You simply click Save and Next and it'll send you to the next voter. If you're finished phone banking, you can scroll down on your screen and click Save and Stop. And this will end your phone bank session. It'll ask you if you're ready to stop taking calls. And this time we are, so we'll just hit OK. And now it has ended our phone bank, uh, but we still need to actually log out of the system. So in the top right corner, you'll be able to click on your username. And at the very bottom, you can tell it you'd like to log out. Yes, we do still want to stop taking calls. And then just to be on the safe side so that the dialer is not continuing to run, you'll want to log out one more time. And also be sure to hang up your phone to disconnect your call with the dialer. And it's as simple as that uh, to use a predictive dialer phone bank system.